Okay, this is the expired one I have. Um, and I'm gonna show you I'm not playing any tricks. Here is one expire one clipboard and here is my run core chip. Really want this. Here it is, run core thirty-two. I have the chip. I have a just to show there's no tricks, I have one keyboard plugged into the USB. I have the run core chip directly plugged in to the ZIF connector on the motherboard. There's the old SSD unplugged. I'm going to plug in the computer, power up, and as you might be able to see, there is the double lights reading and writing the power on and read. Read and turns off. Go to BIOS and there it is. Hard drive finds none. I'm using 33.4 BIOS. Alright, now it doesn't register in the BIOS, but here I have installation of Grub with Ubuntu on it. I've installed Ubuntu following the, following the steps that I've posted on the side on the uh, right. Now, because the BIOS doesn't recognize this chip at boot, we can't boot. But I've installed this is a record this chip is recognized by my BIOS to be read at boot and we can use this chip to, to boot up past the BIOS into the grub loader and then then we can use this chip to boot Ubuntu and I will show you that one second I will unplug I will plug this in the side no tricks Plug that in. We have power and turn it on. Here again, there is the power and the read light blinking. Read light turns off. USB drive is recognized by computer. We boot into the screen for uh, booting Ubuntu. And I use my keyboard and we press enter and we boot. Here we go, Ubuntu and here goes the read lights for booting Ubuntu. As you can see, this light is not reading because it would be blinking, and this light is blinking in a second. As well as the light at the very top is blinking for the hard drive to be reading. And there you have it. I have Ubuntu running on the run core chip, run core chip on my Acer One, and I am very confused.